Oh, Dirty Jack Smith. What a web we weave. Trump prosecutor Jack Smith's alleged role in extortion scheme while at the International Court of Justice is revealed. A whistleblower has filed a complaint with the Department of Justice Inspector General's Office on November 28th alleging that Jack Smith, the special prosecutor pursuing Donald Trump, was engaged in an extortion scheme while he was working at the International Court of Justice. Now here is the complaint. I have this listed on my telegram. It's 118 pages. You have to read this. And once this was filed, it was 13 days later that Jack Smith decided to bypass the appeals court that Trump is waiting on and go straight to the Supreme Court. Now, the Trump team is wisely has refrained from piling on any news in this order to avoid any accusations that this was manufactured as a good job. Okay, let's start with the man who actually brought the complaint. He is DEA, a Drug Enforcement Administration, and has been a business partner since 1998 says John is the best expert on money laundering and financial crimes in the world. John learned of Jack Smith's alleged involvement thanks to a tip from a friend and a DEA agent who had a confidential informant that Jack Smith didn't know about, who altered him to extortion schemes at the ICJ. This is all in the com It actually includes affidavits from four people with ties to Kosovo, Milan, Zika, Elder, Quafella, Halti, Sati, saying it right, but you get the picture, and Draco Provaco. I want to focus specifically on the sworn testimony of the help solo because it provides the most comprehensive account of the Jack Smith's machinations at the ICJ and raises serious questions about the integrity of the court and its trials. Now, this guy is not just some bloke masquerading as a CIA asset. He had a direct relationship with Jack Smith and he introduced this to Jack Smith and according to the affidavit, he was doing the bidding of the specialist prosecutor's office to extort Russian oligarchs and the family in France and all these countries in exchange for leniency, specifically Emerald, directed help to find Russian oligarchs who are on the U.S. sanction list that they could after assistance to get them off. Now, he describes six interactions with Smith from June 2020 to April 2022 by phone and after he received tasking from to develop a relationship with the Russian businessman Valery Subotin. Here's the best part! According to this, Smith's interest in the Russians had a U.S. connection with Hillary Clinton! Oh, that just felt so warm and fuzzy. I just love how things start to come together, don't you? This is getting good.